salt. What is it about diets that fascinates us? For most, diets bring the promise of achieving a desirable state of health and well-being. Despite the vast array of diets available, there is little doubt that the majority of dieters seek a diet in order to lose weight and maintain their new weight status permanently. The one diet that has stood out above all the rest is the Mediterranean diet that is commonly consumed in the countries surrounded or bordered by the Mediterranean Sea. Of course, olive oil is the anchor of the Mediterranean diet. When drizzled on salads and vegetables or mozzarella or grilled fish, it adds flavor and a pleasing texture. But olive oil by itself is rather bland and thus is always accompanied by salt. Even the Renaissance descriptions of oil-dressed salads highlighted the importance of salt, although salt was a very costly commodity at the time. People's preference for salt may vary, but salt has always accompanied the consumption of olive oil. In the Mediterranean diet, salt is olive oil's alter ego. Olives can't be consumed unless they're soaked in heavy salt brine for weeks. The white Greek feta cheese is cured and stored in salt brine. Anchovies, capers, olives, cod, and fish roe are all Mediterranean staples, and they're all packed in salt. The breads, pastries, and sauces of the Mediterranean are all high in salt. Virgin olive oil, so cherished for making salads, is slightly bitter because of all the unique and healthy antioxidants it contains. So salt is especially important for improving its taste. The famous Greek taramosalata, is made from salted codfish roe. Tzatziki is made from salted fresh cucumbers that are drained and added to yogurt. North African baba ganoush is made of roasted and mashed aubergine blended with tahini, garlic, lemon juice, and lots of salt before being topped with olive oil, and so forth. Yet the people who consume all these highly salted foods of the Mediterranean have the best cardiovascular health in the world. The Mediterranean diet promoted by Harvard University was readily captured by the media. The name Mediterranean diet took root and became entrenched in our everyday jargon. What was great about the newly promoted Mediterranean diet was that it could be so tasty. It was full of great salads, delicious fruits and vegetables, mouth-watering pasta and grilled fish. How could anyone go wrong with that? The diet, enhanced by mental images of the beauty of the Mediterranean coastline and the lithe, bronzed body of the Mediterraneans, took hold. Several clinical studies have confirmed the Mediterranean diet to be useful in reducing a broad range of cardiovascular conditions, obesity, type 2 diabetes and hypertension, as well as losses in cognitive function and Alzheimer's disease. Once again, the key is that tasty combination of olive oil, salads and vegetables, and the salt that makes it all so good. Don't forget, the Latin derivation of the word salad is sal, or salted. For millennia, this delicious diet has well served the people of the Mediterranean region, and now it is able to contribute to the health and well-being of all who partake in it. There are literally dozens of books on the nutritional aspects of the Mediterranean diet, and dozens more with a range of excellent recipes that are easy to make. So let's start eating right, or as they say in Italy, Buon Appetito! Salt! Salt.